Shaboom! What is going on, champions? How you guys been, champions? <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. We're out here in beautiful paradise again, my friends. Just straight rock to kick ass freaking workout, dude. Freaking sweating up a storm, baby. So, check it out, my friends. Today, I just wanted to share some insights with you on how to transform from a weak mentality to a strong mentality and why this is essential if you plan on because you know what you guys I already figured it out dude I cracked the code on my psychology I cracked the code on who I am as a person I cracked the code on how reality works and I turn around and I share these deep insights with like-minded people so if this information is going to benefit you if this information is going to help you then great you know, because if there's one thing I've learned is that if you want to learn how to transform from mentally weak to mentally strong, it comes down to a lot of information that has to do with the way we perceive reality. It has to do with our, it's power talk, dude. Because if you don't learn how to talk power into your soul, then you're going to stay within the same energy, the same beliefs, the same psychology that most people get trapped in. And so something I've learned is that anytime you want to transform from one state to another state, because this is all of us, dude, I don't care who you are. <laughs> this is the way it goes. You want to be able to get courageous with yourself. You want to get you want to be able to rock your confidence from day to day. You wanna you wanna be able to develop mental strength, life mastery. You wanna learn how to transform from a weak mindset into a powerful mindset it all comes down to what you decide to do every single day how you decide to relate to information is how that information is gonna relate to you dude <laughs> a lot of people you guys they get trapped in a mindset of negativity because you know this is the way society teaches you it's not they're bad they just it's the way people live people get trapped in energy fields belief patterns attitude patterns habit patterns, behaviors, from day to day, all the time. People don't even know that they could build their own success. And see, it takes mental strength. If you're in a weak state of mind right now, and you want to transform from a weak mentality to a strong mentality, you gotta decide what you want in life. Too many people care way too freaking much what other people think of them, <laughs> what they can do, what they can't do, what they can achieve, what they can achieve, and they allow the perceptions of other people to govern the type of success that they can create in their life. I freaking cracked the code to that nonsense, dude. I cracked the code to depression and anxiety and fear and lack limiting beliefs. All those negative perceptions of reality that possess your mind, they cloud up your judgment, they cloud up your success, they cloud up how you are able to create the breakthroughs in your own life. Too many people, you guys, they allow fear of what everyone else says to dictate and govern their current reality versus taking control of their own psychology, taking control and understanding who they are as an individual, as a capable individual. This is what I've learned to do. It's liberating, dude. When you learn how to liberate your soul and get raw and real with yourself, <laughs> guess what you walk in freedom you learn how to speak power into your being you learn how to stop allowing everything out there trigger who you are in here because just like there's an internal world there's an external world we live in a physical universe baby just like there's a physical universe there's an invisible universe well, come, see, the physical comes from the invisible. Everything, this is quantum physics, dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. This is quantum physics. This is how it goes. We live in a physical universe. The only reason you can see physical matter is because all this is information. All, all this beauty over here that you see out here, this is information. In formation. I N dash formation. In something was put into formation. You see what I'm saying? And what we do is it, be, the, it the information is so dense that it literally pops out from the invisible into reality. 
This is the way it goes, baby. Word is born. In the beginning was the superpower of words. Words are the building blocks of reality. Words are. And if you're stuck in a weak mentality right now, if you're stuck in, in the lower dimensional perceptions of reality, you live an extremely negative life. I guarantee you. Or at least you you live a very you live with the attitude of pessimistic because just like you have optimistic you have pessimistic you could be an a, a, a optimistic person in your life you want to become freaking optimist prime baby some prime time <laughs> or you get stuck in a pessimistic mindset you guys a pessimistic mindset it it's all negative dude it can never be happy it's always governed and controlled by negativity. This is the world we live in. I, I, I've literally transformed my state of mind from where it was to where it is now. And it's freaking juggernaut powerful, dude. It's freaking powerful. I freaking walk in freedom. I speak power into my psychology. I speak power into my beliefs. That All of that transforms who we are from day to day. If you allow yourself to get caught up in the freaking land of nonsense, then your reality isn't gonna make sense. Because what we do as people, this is all quantum physics. See, the simple fact that you consciously are perceiving this video right now is literally collapsing reality. This experience of me sharing this information with you is collapsing this reality right now. That's quantum physics, dude. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, baby. Most people don't know that. Most people don't know that what they focus on collapses that reality. That means you you collapse the, the energy wave, the conscious perception. Anything anything you see in reality is that it's a, it's a zero point. It's a, it's in the zero point field of reality. Every any conscious mind that has a con any person who has a conscious mind possesses the zero point of that reality. And what they decide to focus on. Foc foc on, focus on at any given minute, <laughs> guess what? That collapses the experience that they create. And most people don't know it. So most people live life, they get trapped in a mentally weak mindset. It's not you're necessarily, you know, bad, but you got to decide what you want out of life. You got to decide what you want to create, baby. Too many people allow, have too many filters. They over filter stuff. They over filter stuff. They over filter stuff. And believe me, dude, I was there. I was there. You get stuck over filtering information, then guess what happens? You get locked in a cage of fear. You get locked in a cage of fear and you don't know how to be yourself. You don't know how to become yourself. You don't know how to transform yourself from a weak mentality into a strong mentality. You got to get bold with yourself, dude, if you're ever going to... You guys... Becoming mentally strong has to do with how you talk to yourself, what you believe about yourself. Because if you look at yourself inside and, and you go down and you feel inside like, oh my God, I'm so insecure and I'm so this and I'm so that, you have to understand that focusing on that is actually going to make you feel worse. And so instead, you got to use power talk, dude. <laughs> You got to use power talk. Ideas are the building blocks of reality. You can be, do, and have whatever you want. You don't got to give a rip what anyone else thinks about you. You don't have to. In fact, if you fear something, that's when you should speak up. Or whatever it is you fear, you have to face your fears and you have to do the thing that, that you're scared of in order to get past it. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. This is the way it goes, my friends. Most people don't know that. Oh, this guy's out here always rapping about this stuff. Always talking. Hey, dude, check it out. I'm not for everyone, dude. I'm not for everyone. A lot of people, mentally weak people, can't handle this information. There'll be all kinds of haters out there thumbing it down. All kind, whatever, dude. I don't care. I don't care. Why? Because I built. I'm stronger than that. I'm stronger. I've I've built the character. I'm still building the character. I'm still building the transformation. I'm still building. You know the powerful psychology that mentally strong people build. See, that's what's amazing. You're a unique signature in the universe. And if you decide that you want to be a strong person, you can be a strong person, dude. 
<laughs> if you decide you want to be successful, you can be successful. If you decide you want to be happy, you can be happy. If you decide you want to build more confidence, you can build more confidence. And it's just that a lot of people, they don't recognize these deep, powerful concepts when it comes to how reality works. What see, what's going on the, behind the scenes of your reality has to do with what you focus on every single day. And a lot of people, you guys, they focus on, well, the 3D world. And the 3D world steals your thunder, baby. It's enjoyable. It's awesome. It's amazing. You can enjoy it. But if you're not careful, it will steal your thunder. <laughs> and what I mean thunder, it's going to steal your happiness. It's going to steal your focus. It's going to steal your confidence. Because what we do is as individuals, we live life and we get locked onto the 3D world because they don't teach you this amazingness in school. They don't teach you how to become a strong person. They teach you how to get a couple, you know, go to school, get some grades, get locked into a framework that it sets up for you. And so no wonder people live a life of mediocrity. People live a life of insecurity. People live a life doing the bare, see, people live a life doing the bare minimum. If you do the bare minimum, you get the bare minimum. If you want greater success in life, if you want more growth in life, if you want more transformation, if you want to transform from a mentally weak mindset to a mentally strong mindset, you got to understand how to get strong with yourself, dude. <laughs> You got to rock your world, baby. That's what I do. I have fun, dude. I have fun. I straight freestyle out here in paradise, dude. Yeah, buddy. I hate, the, you know, especially summertime California. You can't beat it, dude. I I'm sorry. You just cannot beat Cali Sunshine, dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. This the way it goes, my friends. And so, do you want to get strong with yourself? It's painful, but guess what? It liberates your soul. Because it takes strength of character to be honest with yourself. And if you're lying to yourself, then you're cheating yourself from success. You're cheating yourself from the ability to create the type of reality you want, dude. <laughs> Why do you think I do this information? Why? You know, I'm at the point now where I, I literally, I just, I don't care what other people think. And you know what that does? It frees your soul. It frees you. Because then you're not, you're not saying, well, I can only be happy when I get these people to like me. Because guess what I've learned? It don't matter if people like you. I mean, it matters, but it doesn't matter because people have to get past themselves. People have so many negative filters and perceptions about who they are. They have so much pride, so much envy, so much greed and jealousy and negativity and insecurity. See, that's all the weak mindset. And I'm sharing with you what I've personally learned. See, this is what's helped me, you guys. That's why I share this, baby. That's why I straight rock my world, dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Because anyone can come at you and say anything. And you have two choices. You can buy into that or you cannot buy into that. You could just be like, nope. Bink. You go over here. I don't buy into it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. That's the way it goes. No one else has the ability or the authority to pin you down under a label. Most people, you guys, they, they don't overthink, they underthink. Most people live life where they're not thinking about anything greater. They're not thinking about achieving much, they're not thinking about doing much, they're not thinking about becoming much. <laughs> so guess what? No wonder they don't get a good reality, right? No wonder they live in fear, right? No wonder they live in, in, in anger and, and anxiety and depression and, oh, I can't do it. Poor me, victim, stamp. <laughs> Why do they always talk about these concepts? You guys, this is my personality, dude. I got a big personality. Some people can dig it, some people can't. Hey, dude, you know what? I, I've, I've figured out who I am. I've learned to build the type of mental strength and you, you know what actually literally helps me to become mentally strong is challenging myself. When you stop challenging yourself in your, in your life, you are dead in the water. You're dead because you don't set up any exercise obstacle for you to get past. There's nothing for you to get past. That means there's no goal to get to. That means it doesn't matter if you get where, where you're going. Most people wake up, you guys, and their mindset is deployed on survival. And hey, I get it. But hey, what do you want? Do you want to become a deliberate co-creator? 
<laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. What do you want to do? What do you want to do with your life? You want transformation? Mentally strong people, they are open-minded. They're open-minded to new ideas, new concepts, new beliefs, new truths on reality and what they can do for their life. Mentally weak people can't do that or they haven't built up the strength to do that. Mentally weak people, you guys, they're mentally weak because they were raised in an environment that was weak. A weak environment produces a weak individual. Creates a, creates a lot of insecurity, a lot of fear, a lot of negativity, a lot of poor me, a lot of victimization. And when you get locked into a victim mindset, you have, you're mentally weak. People can easily offend you. People can easily trigger you. Oh, you look like that. You're offended. Oh, you said that you're offended. Dude, <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? You want to build freaking armor? You want to become freaking Iron Man, dude? <laughs> yeah, buddy. I have a good old time, dude. Straight rocking it out here today, baby. But I just wanted to share some insights on what's helped me. That's why exercise makes you physically strong, but it also gives you mental strength. Exercise is freaking massive. Building your character every day. When your character is off point, you feel off. When your character is off point, other information is coming in and gripping you. And it's taking you down its path. And then if you don't snap that nonsense off of you, guess what, dude? You're going you're gonna to keep feeling that over and over again. And then the more you feel that, the more you believe it, the more you buy into it. <laughs> you don't got to buy into that nonsense. You don't got to buy into other people and their, you know, their negative beliefs about reality and life. Too many people, you guys, they are stuck in a world of pain. They're stuck in a world of weakness. This isn't to demean you as a person if you're there. Because see, strong information will trigger weak people. And it, it triggers them to either be, become stronger or they get angry and they get frustrated and they get mad and they can't stand hearing somebody like me share this. So they, oh, forget it. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I don't care. Oh, the, so that guy just said something. He rubbed me wrong. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with you looking at who you are as a person and deciding if you want to get strong with yourself or not. Because if you keep lying to yourself, if you keep not challenging yourself, guess what? You're going to get that reality over and over and over again. You're going to have problems in your life over and over and over again. You're going to keep wanting something different, but you're going to keep getting the same results. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, baby. This is the way it goes. What you want out of life, dude? What you want to do, buddy? What you want to do, mama? <laughs> you want to rock your world? You want to get courageous and strong? You want to appreciate the person you become in life? Do you? A lot of people, well, that's just ego. That's just, you're just full of yourself. Such, such a closed mindset, they don't even know that they're stuck. They're so negative towards themselves, they can't see themselves great. Well, don't be great. In fact, if you're great, you're, you're bad. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's literally nonsense. It's a joke. It's a, complete, it's a complete figment of their imagination. That's all it is. Good, bad, positive, negative, high, low. You decide what you want, baby. You decide. You want to get stuck in the mindset of what, you know negative yapping and words and ideas you got to talk power into yourself you understand when you talk words and ideas and concepts and you you get emotionally involved with your own psychology do you understand that that is a freaking that's influence and do you understand that that influence goes into you and gives you that it gives you that it gives you the rea it gives you that reality over and over and over again. And if you're stuck in a reality where you're talking negative to yourself, you're talking frustrating to yourself, you're talking weak thoughts, you got to understand that when you speak to yourself, you have to tell yourself powerful ideas. You have to tell yourself what you're going to do every single day. And here's what's crazy. You already do it, dude. You already do it. You're already engaging in this type of this type of reality it's just a matter of shifting from the weak mentality 
to the strong mentality. And the way to do it, see, just like you exercise a muscle and get stronger, you challenge the body. Guess what? You challenge the body, it gets stronger. You challenge your mind, you challenge how you view reality, it gets stronger. You become stronger mentally. <laughs> you become mentally strong, dude. You become so freaking powerful that whatever you face, it's just like, it's just like you, you can put it in perspective completely. And because you can put it in perspective completely, you get to be happy. You get to be successful. You get to be more courageous and strong, dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You won't be able to, you know, laugh at people. Not like you're laughing at them, but like, you know, smile at people. You won't be able to laugh at yourself. That's more of the word, I guess. You know, smile at people, laugh at yourself. See, I don't take myself too seriously. I seriously share mental strength and deep concepts on what we think about comes about. See, so if you're focused on negative, you have to think the opposite of the negative. You can, you know, and that's for me, dude. I still get into these traps from time to time. I still get, you know, I saw it's like I came into this information, you know, certain information about one of my accounts, some of my accounts, and dude, I was like, I'm so mad. I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm like, I'm pissed, dude. <laughs> but guess what? I had to recalibrate my mind. Because if I would have kept focusing on that, that would have been mental weakness. That would have been mental weakness. Oh, well, they shouldn't have done that and they should have been like this and they shouldn't have been doing that with my accounts, none of their business anyways. But you know what? It doesn't matter because that's if I, would have, if I would have continually focused on that, then I would not only be giving them all my power, but I would be demonstrating mental weakness. And so for me to shift it, to shift my for my sake... In order for me to shift for my sake to become mentally strong, I had to allow my mind to detach from that information. Detach from it. <laughs> because here's the thing. If you don't detach, it's going to stay attached to you. This is why it's hard. This takes mental strength. This takes strength of character. Every day you're building the person you're building. And you will become that person every single day. So if you're locked into anger and frustration and resentment, you got to learn to do the complete opposite. Shift your focus. In the order to do that, you got to perceive how you want to treat yourself. See what a lot of people do? Something negative happens and what they do is they get angry, but actually that's a reflection of who they are. And so in order to stay in your own energy, to stay in your own power, you have to recognize who you are, the person you want to be, the type of confidence you want to build, the type of reality you want to experience, and not allow yourself to buy into other people's insecurities. See, other people's insecurities, they will project their insecurities onto you. And if you're not aware, just like, yeah, low awareness, high awareness, overthinkers, underthinkers. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby, then guess what? You're gonna buy into them. You guys, a lot of people, they don't have these superhuman abilities. This is superpower. I teach superpowers on this, po on this podcast, on this YouTube channel, baby. I teach people, I share with people superpowers. These are superpowers, supreme powers, dude. Most people have no clue that their psychology, that their words, that their attitudes, that their beliefs, that their personality creates their personal reality. <laughs> yeah buddy baby they don't know that and so they get locked into a world of weakness mentally weak and hey me sharing this information is to share if you're in that position where you're mentally weak do you you have to ask yourself do you want to be mentally weak or do you want to be mentally strong are you if so you have to recognize these type of deep concepts that I'm sharing with you and you got to be willing to incorporate them in who you are and demonstrate that out in reality. Demonstrate that out every single day. And guess what? The more you do it, the stronger you get. The better you feel. The more confident you become, baby. <laughs> yeah, buddy, dude. This is the way it goes, my friends. But, you know, it just depends. What do you want to do with your life? 
Who, who do you want to be? Most people allow the whole outside world to govern who they are and who they can be. Don't say that because it'll offend these people over here. Don't say this because guess what? People get offended or being challenged. If they don't think they want to get stronger, then guess what? They're not going to get stronger. They're going to stay getting exactly what they've been getting. Living the way they've been living. Giving in to the freaking, you know, the Dungeons and Dragons, dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy, dude. This the way it goes, my friends. You either give in to the Dungeons and Dragons of the underworld, or you decide to come out in beautiful paradise. You decide to rock your world. You decide to talk about the things that are going to lift you up, inspire you, that are going to elevate you. You have to speak power into yourself. And that's like I said a little, little minute ago. You're influencing yourself all day, every day. What do you want to influence into yourself? You can influence positivity or you can influence negativity. You can influence courage or you can influence coward. You can influence strength or you can influence weakness. Any idea that exists, there's always a pol polarity. There's always an opposite idea for the idea that's presented. If you're presented with up, down, as soon as you think up, down appears. As soon as you look right, left appears. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. This is the way it goes. As soon as you think positive, negative is going to appear. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to happen, but there's a polarity. Which road do you want to go down? Do you want to stay going down the negative road or do you want to go down the positive road? Do you want to go down the courageous road or do you want to go down the, eh, who cares? Can't think much, don't do much, I don't care, I'm broken, I can't. Hey, you know, I get it, dude. When you get down on those weak thoughts, you feel weak. You don't feel strong. That's why this information motivates people. And a lot of people, that motivation pisses them off. They can't handle it. It pisses them off. It rubs them wrong. Because it challenges their own awareness. And see, all I'm sharing with you is the information. What you do with the information, that's your business. But a lot of people say, well, you said this and you said that. Hey, it don't matter. I'm just the guitar, baby. That's it. You want to hear the sound that comes out of the guitar. That's the music. That's the information. <laughs> but most people get it twisted. Oh, I'm mad at the guitar because the, the guitar made that sound. I don't like that. What do you want to do, dude? It's really up to you. Your choice, your call. And that's how I've learned to transform. See, transition. Transformation. Transform. You transform from one reality to another reality. Transformation. That means you lock into a formation, a framework of better energy, better ideas, better possibilities, greater realities. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. And that, my friends, is how to transform from a mentally from mentally weak to mentally strong. You got to get honest with yourself, you guys. That's what I've learned. I've learned to get freaking honest with myself, dude. I did. It's painful. Don't get me wrong. It's freaking painful to face the truth. It's painful to face, hey, you know what? I need to make an adjustment. Hey, you know what? I need to grow. Hey, you know what? I need to be this kind of person. And see, that's one of the things that I've learned to do. And the more I do it, the stronger I get every single day. You learn to talk to yourself every day because you do it already. Some people think you're crazy. Well, you know, this guy doing over there talking to himself. <laughs> yeah, buddy. But it don't matter. Ain't nothing impossible anymore. Freaking built a rocket ship, go freaking fly to the moon, dude. Ain't nothing impossible. The only thing that the only thing that exists is what you believe about who you are and what you're doing with your life. See, the more you align yourself with who you are and what you want to do, dude, the better you're gonna feel, the stronger you're gonna become, the more liberating you're gonna be, the more success you're gonna create. That's what I do. That's what I do, dude. I freaking, I freaking rock my world, dude. I share value with like-minded people. I don't allow, you know, things out there to trigger me. Sometimes it happens, but dude, that's, that's being human. It's going to happen, but it's easier said than done. Yeah, but you just got to decide how you're going to deal with it. And a lot of people, they just don't want to deal with it. Oh, I don't want to deal with it. Forget it. Life sucks. I can't do it. I give up. It doesn't matter. And so they give up. They don't even know they can change, dude. And so for me, what I do is I challenge that. 
I challenge that. That's what I do. I challenge those beliefs. I challenge those ideas. I challenge that information. And I challenge it by me moving towards it. And then if I feel a certain way, okay, great. Bring it on, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby, but that's it, champions. That's all I got for you guys today. Just wanted to drop some freaking wisdom, baby, and share some insights on how to transform from mentally weak to mentally strong. And so, if you guys are new here to the channel, you guys, um, consider subscribing, baby. If you like this kind of information, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, baby. Helps the channel grow. This kind of information needs to get out there, dude, because people, they're locked in a world that they don't understand. Most people. They understand it from their viewpoint, but guess what? There's greater viewpoints in the world. See, your viewpoint is just one point of view. And there's a billion other people on this earth who have their own unique viewpoint. Guess what, dude? You can have greater viewpoints. There's people out there who have greater perceptions of reality, greater viewpoints of reality. And you can learn to lock into that laser beam of a uh, uh, viewpoint, laser beam of information, and you can learn to develop those type of realities into your reality. The only thing that separates a winner from a loser is a winner wins, baby, and a loser loses. The winner is working with winning information. The loser is working with losing information. Boom! <laughs> Unlock. Should blow your mind. You got positive information, negative information. You got winning information. You got losing information. And then the conscious awareness of the individual that's possessed by that information, guess what? That dictates and governs their reality. You're working with winning information, you're going to become a winner. You're working with losing information, you're going to become a loser. This is the way it goes. Most people don't know that though, dude. But, dude, I'm on a freaking rant right now, dude. But when am I not, right? I always got something to say. <laughs> so do you. So does everyone else. People always have something to say. They just ain't aware of what they're saying to themselves, dude. And so, that's how I've learned to transform from a weak mindset to a strong mindset. Over and over and over again. Because here's the thing, dude. You, gotta, you eat food every single day. Just like you feed your body every single day, guess what? You got to feed your, your attitude. You got to feed your mind. You got to feed your heart. You got to feed your soul the, the beliefs, the energies, the attitudes, the, the personality that you want to create from day to day. That's what I've learned to do, dude. You want to learn how to activate universal laws? <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby, but that's it, champions. That's all I got for you guys today. But I do thank you guys, and I do look forward to talking to you champions again next time, baby. Peace.